Welcome to Wide Awake Wessex. I've actually had a reasonable night's sleep. Hence the difference. Hey, this is a response to Funky Prepper. Who's uh, tagged me for my survival tin uh, via Sergeant Fruitcake. Alright. Um, yes, I have a survival tin, but it's part of this system here, which is my Max Position M2 gullet pack. Sorry, waste pack thing that hangs on the belt, which along with the um, Leverman with a coast torch, I think that was from Durham. Um, so this is part of a layered sort of system that goes along with and, and man bag and stuff in the car and everything else. Um, car keys usually would have something else on it as well. Uh, so the actual survival tin is just it's a small Altoids type tin that would allow me to do char cloth. Quite what's in there? Can't remember. It, uh, a lot of my stuff is, consider what goes in, it's probably a reasonable sort of um, appraisal of what I've got available, what I can afford, what I can get my hands on, what I'm given, stuff in a thing and then forgotten about. Because I've ever got it on me, or I haven't. And if I haven't got it on me, it doesn't matter what you add in the tin, does it? Because you ain't got it. So my thing is, it's an EDC. So if it's on me, I've probably got more choices than if I'd done a really well organised and just happened not to take it that day. Which is pointless. Okay, so, what's in there? Let's, let's find out together, shall we? So, there's my pouch. Open it up. Ooh. Weeks and weeks of dust and crap. Blech. You know when you dig down the bottom of a sofa? There it is. So shot there it goes do 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 there's be ten right when funky took his apart damn it's like he cleaned it all perfectly when it uh, won't be in there there's one thing I know for sure the one I open my stuff up it's like someone emptied the contents of a dust pan <laughs> into it. it it's just the way it is Manky Wessex Blades. So, to start with, we've got one, two, three, four Ranger Bands. I'm looking at my viewfinder to check what my scope of what I'm filming is. So if I move them to there, they're still in shot. Up into and including about that. Right. Um, now, obviously, they're based on the fact that I've got a cigarette lighter. Listen to the zip. There. Okay, so that's on top of my pack. And he's got little ones on as well. Uh, a tip for that, the ranger bands you put on those make them a little bit thinner. Because if you have um, cold, wet fingers, the fact that it's there and it's flammable is more advantageous than if you had a big 20 mil one that you never had the strength and the dexterity to get off. Yeah? So on this you make little dinky ones. Just a little way. So here is the Altoids tin and as you see beat to hell flamed. I've done three loads of char cloth in that. That's all. I don't put a, uh, a hole in it because it doesn't really seal anyway does the same job. Ooh. As you see, Howard Carter had cleaner relics than I do. What do you see? Wondrous things. Okay, we have vaguely in the pack stereo strips. Pack of stereo strips. Start mooching across there. Some incredibly filthy on the outside but probably clean on the inside. Band-Aid Elastoplasters 
and a square one band-aid elastoplast a ferro rod, now that came from a knife kit and I've already re-glued it back in once so a spare ferro rod probably a bit overkill but I've got one of these uh, candles reason it just stays down there you haven't got to try and hold it or stick it in the ground or anything it's just literally as complicated as that keep going on the old first aid more stereo strips put up with those stereo strips and it's all literally filthy reason it's a char cloth tin thank you very much sugar from a coffee um, cafe thing I give it a cup of sugar I have black no sugar there was a program I can't remember what it was it was something like 999 emergency and a guy had had an injury in his ankle or something and, and he was actually making his way back to a road he knew of and he was stuck in a gully and he had to make it up a bank and he literally couldn't face it. He didn't have the energy, he didn't have the will, he just couldn't be, literally, it was just too much for him to cope with at the time. He sat down, and about five minutes later, he remembered he had sugar lumps on him. Two sugar lumps in a packet, maybe three packs, six sugar lumps. And he thought, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to have the sugar lumps. I'm going to wait ten minutes, and I'm going to get up that hill. You never know. Some some um, diabetic suddenly goes into hypo or hyper or whatever it is and says, has anybody got any sugar? Well, somebody does. Split shot weights. Now i got no fishing line, but I think I've got a sewing kit. I think. This is the idea of fill it, forget it. All right. A button compass, which won't be that accurate because it's in a metal tin, but hey, some form of navigation of which I'd have to back it up with either the big one there, Doo -doo. or I've got another one on the back of the M2, um, so a last ditch compass, ah, titanium, I think this is from Sheepdog, so it's got, um, acid etch sort of finish a chisel edge and that is sharp a bottle opener and there are two holes so I could actually whack it on a stick I suppose but hey and that would allow me to spark that so toolage there's a sewing kit so if I had to do some crappy fishing I could do and there's a mini um, safety pin in there as well which sort of doubles up as another hook I suppose N none of these sort of sourcing game things are ever really serious unless you actually get you know proper leg trap it's it's a one shot deal you got that you yank it out you have the fish and, and I've done with it so we've got three water purification tablets no ziplock bag to put it in though so I'll have to do a concavity I got a piece of plastic, an off cut from work. If I peel that off completely, there's a lovely mirror underneath. Oh, I, I don't know. Is it any good? It would be better with the peel off, off. Peel off, off. Yeah. And, um. Okay. What have we got here? Liberty, 1973. I've got a dime. <laughs> There's a dime. The mysteries of. So, Wessex Blades Survival Tin. That's what's in my tin. Um, yes. Crude, basic, but that's for char cloth and that's why it's the way it is. Um, it, there are tins that big and whatever, but if you've got to do a kit based on something I'd actually ramp it up to that personally speaking because you can carry a dam site more um, you can carry water 
and you can boil water a damn sight faster. So base base your kit on two of them. That's just my personal thing. Because you can uh, sit at a fire for hours on end boiling away on something very very small. That's the sort of minimum I, I consider for boiling water. So don't think about boiling water in that. You, by the time you've fizzed and bizzed and wait for it to cool and, and, and drunk and strained it, you, you got, I don't know, 80 mil. That's far better. There we go, Scott and Wessex blades. Yeah, survival blanket and all the rest of it is in here. The Ziploc bag is in my M2 waste pack, which is here. So, that's just part of me, EDC. Thanks to me again, thanks to Funky Funky for tagging me. Oh god, I'll get it all back in there now. Well, let's see how it goes. There. It should be fun, won't it? I'll keep the dime in there just for the sheer randomness of it. Right, get that big thing in there. Ugh. Titanium. Could I get more in? I suspect. Could I have thought about it? Well, I don't know. So I can get it in. I reckon I could put them, lay them in there like that. There we go. Up close and honest. Cool. You see what I mean about thick ranger bands? That's only getting over there. Imagine doing that with cold hands. Thanks for me again. Scott Wessick plays. Survival 10. Show and tell. And laugh. I got energy! <laughs>